All right, here, this is the Indigo Experiment in the exact same spot as last time. Let's jump into this picture. Introducing, back from a crushing victory at someone might lose a tooth in Duluth, Eagle! Okay. Now, well, <laughs> firstly, I actually want to use the bacon because for this guy, it's actually his um, bio is actually really funny. Hey, why don't you just take a little nibble of that and see if I can taste it too? Need your analysis on a hostel. What kind? Two words. Kaka. Well, I mean, that's really one word, isn't it? How are you spelling it? C-A hyphen C-A-W. Oh, well, if you're gonna use a hyphen, I mean... It's a hyphenated word. One hyphenated word. Like, um, half-wit. Look, are you... Watch his shadow, and when you see him coming down, turn on your shield for a real back-breaking landing. Back hyphen breaking. Two words. Yes! You've been very helpful. That's all I need. Good luck. So yeah, um, once again, just about the same strategy. For the most part, um, outmaneuver him. Keep moving with your levitation upgrade with your um, demolition ball. Okay, now he's gonna go up. Watch his shadow, like Four Crawler said, and ow! Oh, oh, yeah, I screwed up there. I screwed up that timing. When he does it again, I'll show you how to do it. Oh, that's the phone. Stop calling me when I'm recording. Even though you're really calling someone else who lives in this house. Probably. Because I don't really have very many friends. And serious. Okay, yeah, he's doing it again. All right. So watch his shadow. And when it starts getting bigger. I probably should have called it. Yeah. You, you, get a few there. you can also go invisible and avoid it that way. But it's just more fun to do it like that, you know? Just... Yes. Although I think it's pretty interesting that these guys are in the normal enemy bios, of when uh, most of the time bosses are um, in your um, "I need some advice" section, because you only really fight them once, and you only fight these guys once too. There are no rematches. Oh crap! Well, I guess that's what I get for them. House of Cards gets slowly and steadily more and more physically impossible. But this is his brain. So who really cares? Physics doesn't. The only reason there are normal physics here is because he thinks in normal physics. If he lived in a world where, gra where um, gravity was backwards, then gravity would be backwards. I mean, you know, just look at Boyd. Can I push him off of this? <laughs> okay, yeah, I should probably stop. Anyway, yeah. This one was a real pain in the butt to get. Perfect. One step closer to her. Look at that! That's not even... Is he using blue? Please, boy. I must have those queens. Seriously. Okay, so... Right. Where am I going here? Right, there's the MP. Let's just jump back through that. And now aren't you glad you lowered that fire escape? I am. I'm not entirely sure what to do next. Oh, yeah, right up there. Okay. 
I always like to check below me to see if there's a, anything down there. I guess. Huh. This kind of looks like a dead end. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not entirely sure what to do here. Let's see, let's go over here, see if anything... Oh, you know what I need to do? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, I'm not gonna get hit. Yeah, you know what I need to do? I need to go up here again. Do I ha still have the window? Yeah, I still have the window. Okay. Watch it! Die! Oh, there's a bird there. I a bird. <laughs> Hang on close lines, apparently. Oh, by the way, teleport bug down there. That's probably pretty helpful to note. Yep. And one, one more time! Right, yeah, there we go. That's pretty much the only way to get over here with them LOD on the streets. So. Woo! Now. You don't really want to go in there yet. Actually, you know what? While I'm um here, I think I should explain what I think the four wrestlers are. Tiger? Well, they're all, um, as the art dogs are manifestations of his, um, ident aspects of his identity of, as an artist, the art dogs are, um, you could say manifestations of his, well, not the art dogs, I just talked about the art dogs, the wrestlers are manifestations of his identity as a wrestler. Um, parts of him that he doesn't really want to acknowledge anymore, so they're cast as the villains in his mind, the people who, um, terrorized him so much in high school. Um, Tiger is the part of him that enjoys, um, that glories in his, um, physical supremacy and his, um, well, I guess you could say his physique. His just sheer superiority when it comes to physical, um, strength and physical size. Um, Dragon is the part of him that, um, glories in intimidating others with strength and, um, well, strength. Subtle difference, um, Tiger is just a pure physical size and, um, well, and the dragon is um, making others fear. Eagle, I think, is just his um, pure instinct and to and love of harm. Ink. Basically, yeah. Just his love of violence that he doesn't really want to acknowledge. And Cobra, as we'll see here in a moment. Now, you probably don't want to go in here. This is just to demonstrate. I'm going to keep silent for this. Next up, Junior King Kong Cobra! I accidentally spoiled his name. Anyway, yeah, silence now. Hey, Edgar. Nice headgear, freak. What? What? You suck, Tegley. You can't beat me. Coach says I can't be beat. Coach says I got mental toughness. You can't break my concentration, Wimp. Hey, I'm not Edgar. Yeah? You're gonna wish you're not Edgar when I'm through. Look! I am not Edgar Tegley. My name's Raz. I'm a psychonaut. No, you're not! You idiot, Smegley. Coach says your psycho girl crazy lack of focus cost you states. Seriously. I don't want to have to hurt you. Well, since you'd have to break my concentration to even touch me, and since you can't break my concentration, I guess you won't be too disappointed then. Anyway, silence starting now. Because I didn't. You can't hurt me at all. Because the coach taught me how to concentrate on not being like me. Not like you, Smagley. You feel everything. Like when your girlfriend 
friend Lana dumped you for that cheerleader guy. You felt that so bad, you blew the state semifinals. You let all us wrestlers go. That's why we hate you. You got confused, Techly. You let your guard down. And then you got torn apart like this. I can't feel a thing. How about that? You'll never break, but my head will never get all clouded up and confused like you are. I'm telling you it's impossible. The coach says if you stay focused, you can't be beaten. Exactly. The coach says if you stay focused, you can't I can't feel a thing. How's that feel? You'll never break. Give it up, Speckley. <laughs> We'll never give it up, Smeg. You'll never break. I'm telling you, it's impossible. The I can't feel a thing. Oh, does that hurt? My head will never get all clouded up and confused like you are. Kind of hopeless, doesn't it? But don't worry. There's a bit of a secret that um. Well, I don't know how Raz knew that, but um. Oh well. The point here is that well, I think it's pretty obvious what Cobra stands for in his mind. His self-loathing. His hatred of failing, well, of himself for failing as a wrestler. And well, on that note. I think we're going to end this off here. So, until next time, this has been the Indigo Experiment, and we are done here.